What's going on everybody? Your boy man up coming at you with one more video today. This video is going to be kind of quick. Uh, I was sent a couple of social media posts. I don't know if it's Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram, or whatever this is. I don't know. But I was sent a couple of social media posts. And uh, I got to agree with uh, everything that I read. Her name Mama at Tira Laura. I don't know, I'm sorry if I butchered your name. If you see my video, sorry I butchered your name. She says, so many women won't admit that they are miserable in their independence. I wish we could just be honest and say what, it's real, what it really is. A lot of women are exhausted, but they keep pursuing this lifestyle that society pushes on us, not feeling like they have uh, another choice, but you do. And... Before I continue, the word society, if you look it up, that's based up on people of the land. You know, society is filled with people. That's what society is. And if you want to go down that route, there's more women on earth than men. So, you do the math on that one. All right, let's go ahead and get to this next one that, I, uh, that was sent to me. One of the biggest lies I was ever told as a young girl is that you have to be independent. Otherwise, your man will up and leave you high and dry with nothing. Now, as an adult looking at the life of the woman who said that to me, independence has done her no favors. Interesting. Let's go to the next one. They teach us trust no man rather than showing us how to marry the right man who would never put us in that type of situation. Please don't project your insecurities and unhealthy perceptions of men onto your daughters and other young girls simply because of, of the men you choose. Now, how many times we as men have keep saying these same things? You project whatever it is that you're believing on to... The good men, just because you're going after all these pookies and ray rays, these nuck nooks and pojos, and <laughs> I know I'm being stupid right now, but y'all know what I'm trying to say. Y'all going after men that that's not really thriving for anything, and now you want to say all men do this when that's not simply true. Just because one man did you wrong don't mean that every man's going to do you wrong. And just because one man did you wrong does not mean that the man that your daughter get with or your niece or your friend or whoever, that doesn't mean that, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to do you wrong. You see what I'm saying? I had a relationship one time a long, long time ago. I didn't know at the moment, but I ended up finding out later. She, the relationship before me, she was in an abusive relationship. She gets with me. It's like I could tell something wasn't right. I just couldn't figure out what. So we were talking one day, and she ended up telling me that the guy that she was with, you know, used to hit on her. I'm like, and my my dumbass mind, I'm thinking hit on her, like trying to get with her, but I'm like. Why would he try to get with you, y'all together? And she looked at me stupid because I wasn't thinking about abuse. My mind wasn't, I don't think stuff like that, you know, just automatically. My mind wasn't thinking nothing like that. My whole point of the story is, I know it was stupid. I know y'all like, what the hell, man? <laughs> I know y'all, uh, I know that was stupid and y'all y'all looking at me like I'm crazy. But my whole point is, just because one guy beat on you does not mean every guy's going to beat on you. Just because one guy cheats does not mean every guy cheats. Just because one guy uses you for sex does not mean every guy. Because if you want to go that route, then I can say the same thing. So, Mama, at, I'm sorry, I cannot pronounce your name. I'm a butcher it. Yeah, I know what it is. But anyway, I agree with you cold heartedly 
Instead of talking about trust no man, how about you try to find the right man? Kind of like that lawyer that's uh, from Atlanta, Georgia. One of, one of the top successful lawyers in Atlanta. She got with this no good guy. And he, and he ended her existence on this earth. I'm not saying it's her fault. But that's the type of man she chose. To get with a guy that, that was in and out of jail. That was not trying to do anything for himself. That's the kind of guy she chose to be with. And here I am, a hard-working man. I'm faithful to my wife and devoted to my daughter. Just because that man did something wrong, it's going to get projected on all the good men who's not doing anything like that. But like I said, I don't do that to y'all women. I've been cheated on a couple of girlfriends and one of my my ex-wife, excuse me, uh, uh, a couple of my girlfriends that have cheated on me before. One of them was a girlfriend had a, a baby by another man. And my ex-wife had a baby by another man. So two exes of mine had a baby by another man. And I'm not going around talking about all women is, all women that. No, I don't do that. And I agree with her on this one right here. I wish women would be more honest and come out and say, but women don't want to look bad. They don't want to admit that they were wrong. That's the reason why women don't be honest. Because women still trying to put, throw this perception out there that they're never wrong, that they're perfect and all that crap. I guess it's not going to be a short video. <laughs> but anyway, uh, that's why I, I that's why I like a lot of these women that do come out and be honest. Even though they might say some things I might not agree with in the video, but at least they've been honest and saying, Okay, this was a dumbass idea. Why did I do this? No, don't you know, whatever. I'm trying to teach other girls, look, I know the world is telling you you could do whatever you want to do. Don't do it. <laughs> Go find your husband. Go find you, you know what I'm saying, happiness. Some true happiness. Because man and woman was meant to be together. That's just what it is in the discussion. Nothing else needs to be said. So with all that being said, I am going to go ahead and end this video. This is your boy Man Up. I'm Chunkin' the Deuce. I holler at y'all.